It's Sunday and it is Poetry Month. And as promised, I'm doing a poem every Sunday. This poem is titled, Look at Yourself by Maisha Crawford. It comes from the book I represent. Take a look by Maisha Crawford. Look at yourself. See the golden brown sister in the mirror. You're every teacher's prodigy and every parent's dream. You, with your long, lean legs and perfectly smooth feet. The signs of someone who has gone places and is going somewhere. Going down the positive road of life and taking those around with you. Look at yourself. See the golden brown sister in the mirror, those eyes, those wonderful eyes, painted with the loveliest of dark brown. Eyes that are always giving people a sense of security. And the eyes, the eyes only accent more the picturesque smile planted upon your face. A smile so bright that it lights up every room you enter. And this lovely smile is almost always accompanied by your <laughs> harmonious laugh. A laugh seeming to make all troublesome dilemmas disappear. Look at yourself. See the golden brown sister in the mirror. You always know exactly what you want and never afraid to work to get it. When you speak, everyone listens. Not only is there stern importance in whatever it is you may say, there is also the remaining fact that your voice intoxicates those around, making every man, a woman, and child seem to hang on to whatever words pass your lips. Look at yourself. See the golden brown sister in the mirror. You are positively radiant. An image of ancestors of the past, great ones of the present, and a hope for the future. You know how to think for yourself and will continue to do so. Finding enjoyment in being yourself and not portraying what or who anyone else may want. <laughs> Look at yourself. See the golden brown sister in the mirror. You are peace, love, and unity rolled into one great being. Keep on loving who you see in the mirror and everyone else will do. I see a lot of young ladies, now that I'm teaching, who look for good light and mirrors and attention. I have ninth graders, so there are of course some maturity thing there too. As much as they stay in the mirror and as much as they assert themselves to be you know, independent, strong, we don't care, we don't, you know, we're hard now, rough. The lack of security and confidence just beams through. Like it's just so obvious that a lot of it is pretend, not real. It's not authentic. When it's time to present or time to share and the spotlight's on them, they are just very insecure. Not saying all, but too very few have that girl power, black magic, all these hashtags and slogans, all this discussion about what it is to be confident, young girl. And I can only think to myself when I see them, especially having a, a channel called Spine Shine Goddess, what did we do wrong? Where did we go wrong? What can we do? What messages did we send were we even confident and real? Were we BSing? What are we doing? What have we done? Who have we created? Very fragile young ladies. When I say 
looking for mirrors and lights, looking for mirrors and good light. That's exactly what I mean. If you're using apps, lighting and filters and so many things to not even see yourself, that alone says I have to change who I am and who I present to the world. I can't be my naked self. I can't display or share my naked truth, literally. And these are all observations and assertions because I have not talked to them about these observations, but I am. I don't know how honest and real. I may have to not do it in a class setting. And I know a few that I can, that are pretty mature, that may give me some, some honest dialogue and thinking. So I do wanna be fair and include them and get their opinion because like I said, I could be wrong. I remember there being so many girl groups and mentor groups. I mean, and I'm sure there still are a lot of groups out there for helping girls. And it just seems like they were done in vain. I mean, I, that's not to say that it, they weren't helpful and that those missions and goals and whatever those organizations set out to do didn't accomplish that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying we obviously have to update. Years before, you would feel the need to create separate groups because girls wouldn't say what they wanted to say if boys were in the room. You know, like there was that tension of that insecurity to really speak your truth because, you know, just not feeling safe enough with boys. So the separation, oh, let's have these girl-centered groups where we can discuss things you know, the things that we need to talk about in private that you wouldn't be embarrassed by. Now, you have boys who are more sensitive, very sensitive, when it comes to girl talk, that judgment you don't, I don't feel. I don't feel that it's as the environment or classroom is as intimidating when boys in a room where a girl can speak her truth. I find that they're open. They're more receptive. They are in touch a lot more with their feminine energy than years before. So then you think, well, okay, girls have a safer environment to be and speak. And yet it appears to be an even bigger insecurity within the company of each other. The clicks, and there've always been clicks. Trust me, I know. Something's different. Meanness and competition. Then this isn't to blame us. It's just to think about as women, especially those of us who talk girl power, black magic, um, you know, sisterhood, sister keeper. Is it real? In a majority. There are cases where it does. But what is the climate overall? Where are we as a collective in sisterhood? Has social media created such competition for attention? Like every, all of us, all of us are in this thing trying to be seen. We are scrambling to create content that stands out. Everything is about standing out and being seen. All of us. If you're in here and you're content creating and you have any kind of profile or channel, you'd be lying if you say you're not. Because I'm on social media and I have a channel and I'm always trying to self-actualize, okay, saying are you being real with yourself? What are you doing exactly? So I have to self-check as well. This thing of judgment and competition and standing out, making sure that it doesn't impact my relationship. Sisterhood, that, that need to feel validated, that need to feel like, man, you get me. That feeling of, I see you, sis. Just the nod, just that, yeah, we need that. And if we are such competitors, and if these platforms have become so important 
that we need these platforms to validate who we are and we need followers and we need all of then how can you really support each other when you feel like well i gotta stand out more than you and if you get too many views and too many followers and i gotta do something else to top you and or you do all it's like everything is about attention i'm just disturbed really by the number of girls i see where the confidence does not match. Performance in class is not matching their profiles. And you can see it, the divide, you, you see it so clearly and it just hurts. And what can I do? Where did we go wrong? How must we change? What must we do to change this, to help bridge the gap? We're hurting many of us. I'm gonna talk to my students. I suggest you talk to the girls that you know. Have some real conversation around how real do they see you as a woman? Do they see you as confident and strong and standing on your word and you're about business, but is that really in conflict with your personal life? What are we doing? We have to come to the table, if you will, to have some real talk around if we even feel comfortable enough with each other to share what our vulnerabilities are and not put on. Have we created enough safe spaces to really do that? To have to have strangers, people who don't know you at all, validate you, that's something that you're going to have to lean into and figure out why it's so important to you. How people perceive you that don't know you, that have no impact whatsoever, except for maybe a like or a follow or a comment or a compliment. Just sit with that for a while. How are you being impacted? How, how does it make you feel when you're not getting the attention or when you see other women getting attention on social media if it bothers you and affects you to a degree where you are feeling really irritated, angered, envious, lean into that, sit with that, reflect, meditate, pray, chant, do whatever you have to do to clear that space, okay? That's all I have. For today. Thank you for watching. This has been Spa and Shine Goddess. I am Sandra Roberts, the Saint Goddess. I appreciate you joining. Hit that like button to validate me. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification so that you know when I'm uploading my next video. Thank you for watching, you all. Peace.